It is completely different, obviously, because of the COVID restrictions. Um, normally, the government of Gibraltar have an open-air ceremony, which is not possible this year. So what's happening is the whole of the UK is having an online ceremony tomorrow in which we can connect ourselves into it and share the ceremony with the UK. And then all over the UK and hopefully around Gibraltar, people will light a candle at 9 p.m. Gibraltar time, which is 8 p.m. UK time, light a candle and put it by your window in to remember those who perished in the Holocaust. Also, speaking more generally with the learning uh, from Auschwitz uh, charity, Gibraltar, um, locally in getting young people uh, to understand, to better understand what happened uh, during that period of time, during the Holocaust, what impact has the charity had? I hope it's had a big impact. Um, I am hopeful that it's had a big impact, but I'm certain it's had some impact. Um, we've taken students every year. Unfortunately, 2020 wasn't possible and 2021 looks like it's not possible either, but we've been taking 17 year olds um, every year. And to be honest, it's opened their eyes to an educational experience that they hadn't had before. It's a very powerful experience. We take a Holocaust educator from the UK with us. We're also accompanied by a Holocaust survivor, which gives an incredible insight um, to the students where they have time to sit and chat and discuss what they went through. And I think it puts life in perspective. A and B is what we always say to the students, you know, bowling in the playground is the beginning of what happened in the extreme in Germany. It's picking on people because you perceive them to be different to what you would like them to be. And with that in mind, moving forward, and as we leave that period of time behind uh, and it becomes, you know, more of a recent past type situation, you know, I think last year was the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landing. How difficult is it and how important is it to make sure that we don't forget what happened because there are fewer people who were around during that time period? You're absolutely right. As, as a couple of the survivors have always said, if people don't continue to remember and take lessons from history, unfortunately, we will repeat history. And, you know, the lighting of the candle is, is significant in so much as that it's the one only thing that we can do out of respect to the 11 million. Remember, there were 11 million people who perished. It's six million Jews and five million others. It's, you know, 11 million people is a huge amount of people. And the least we could do is just light the candle and contemplate and give it some thinking so that these things don't happen in the future. How upsetting is it for somebody in your position to see that there has been a rise in anti-Semitism recently and just a few weeks ago during the Capitol riots in Washington there was a person wearing a t-shirt that said Camp Auschwitz on it, things like that. How does that make you feel and is, how do you combat something like that and are you upset that that is still the case now? I have to tell you it's beyond upset. It's heart-wrenching for me when I see pictures like that. You know, Part of my own family perished in Auschwitz. My maiden name is Weisvogel. And when I go there and I see their names, and I know that's part of my family as well. And I see what, my question is, what is it the Jews are doing that is so wrong? What are we doing that is so wrong that this hatred continues? I don't know what it is that we do that's so wrong. And when I see these pictures of Auschwitz and, and cemeteries that are destroyed and these anti-Semitic remarks that continue, continue around the world. I ask myself, what are we doing wrong? And I, I don't have an answer for that. It saddens me, it upsets me, it annoys me and it terrifies me. The truth is it terrifies me, unfortunately. And so with that in mind, what is the best way 
to to combat that? Is it is it by education? Is it by charities like this to remind people? I firmly believe that education does help. I think uh, in one of the trips actually that we made, there was a gentle a young bloke from Gibraltar, 17 year old from Gibraltar. We were walking out of Auschwitz, walking by the rail tracks and we were all quiet walking out. And this young boy from Gibraltar, 17 year old said to me, do you know my father didn't want me to come because he said that all this was invented, that it was rubbish, that it never happened, that the Jews have invented it. And you know, I thought, it's so sad. And this boy said to me, now I can go back and tell my father that this is not how it was, that this is the truth, that I've met survivors. You know, what can I say? It's very sad. It's, I, I, I just try my best. I do what I can do as a, as a Jewess. I try and do what I think is the right way to do things. I try to take students and educate them. And we try and be open to answer any questions, but I still don't know what it is that we're doing so wrong that there's so much hatred still in the world against the Jews. I'd like someone to answer that. I still haven't heard an answer.